Uh, for uh, biofuels in Europe, we remain very bullish uh, for 2018 to 2020. Beyond 2020, there is less visibility. Biofuels specifically in Europe, it's, it's very bullish. Countries like the countries in Scandinavia, UK, Ireland and Holland being hotbeds, uh, the mandates are going up. Uh, so that's all very positive. We've also seen some of the trade barriers recently come down, specifically Argentina, and that is, uh, that is good for general trade flows. Uh, we see incremental growth in the developed countries. Uh, in the developed countries, there will be a lot of focus on, on the carbon footprint and uh, low carbon fuel versus fossil fuels. And, the carbon, low carbon fuels are taking a bigger uh, piece of, of the energy pie there. Uh, for developing countries, we see growth. Um, but what's interesting there is that they're becoming more sensitive to the type of fuels. Um, the business of biofuels has become much more complex uh, recently and uh, with the additional complexity around mandates, audit trails and sustainability, uh, you need to work with professionals. Uh, our customers rely on SCB to guide them through this uh, changing landscape. Uh, in addition, with MIFID 2 and the complexity around that, um, you, you really need to know uh, that uh, it's not just about moving carbons anymore, there is so much more to the trading of these, uh, these fuels. Uh, for investments, it's all about low carbon fuel. Uh, current battery technology is simply not there to allow for the end mass change from uh, uh, fossil fuel driven transportation to electric vehicles. We see this uh, materialize maybe in 10, 15 years. And even if that timeline is beaten, the, the price point for the vehicles will not be uh, uh, near the average price for a current diesel or petrol car. Uh, we, we think this low carbon fuel mix uh, will, will bridge the gap and uh, we see that uh, biofuels uh, in general will play a big role um, in, in allowing for this to happen. Um, there will be increased focus on the carbon footprint and um, allowing economies to grow um, and at the same time reducing carbon footprint will be a trillion dollar question. I think there, there will be a lot of investments going into that.